Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to be looking at Mask of Mists. This is like a adventure puzzler kind of game that looked pretty neat and beautiful. So I uh, thought I would go ahead and give it a shot. Let's hop in. Thank you for your interest in our game. Still in development, so the final version of the gameplay and levels may differ from what you will see now. Your goal in this demo is to find and activate the navigation crystal. Good luck. Short, simple, and to the point. I like it. So we have to find <clears throat> something called a navigation crystal, as it were. Whoa, the sensitivity is pretty crazy for me currently. I'm using a controller. There we go, camera sensitivity. Let's go ahead and turn that down a bit. All right. Cool. So that's a bit better on the camera. So yeah, this game looks really pretty and neat. And it seemed like you had a kind of interesting premise. There's like magic and stuff and secrets for us to find and new little abilities and items we'll need to solve puzzles. So what is that? A mask? Red statuette. <clears throat> All right, where do you go? Activate the navigation crystal. What are you? Companion cube? That's what it looks like almost. Hmm, I'm not really sure the point of those yet, so I guess we explore for a little bit longer. There's another statuette. Okay, is there anything else hiding? Bushes, maybe? Don't really see anything. The game reminds me of Superland so far. Just, and how colorful it is and the type of puzzles that we're doing, which is honestly super, super high praise because I love Superland. Also, B is how we jump. Cool. I hadn't even thought to try it yet. Okay. Got myself a red statuette. All right, so we have a pretty good amount of them already. Now, I guess we just have to put them in the various... I suppose there's not a actual uh, puzzle here. We just had to find all four of them. Cool. Can we do anything with the mushrooms? No, this isn't Lost Ember, it doesn't seem like. Yeah, the environments are really pretty. Like, I don't know how to explain it. They just look nice. It might just be because it's colorful. I really like some uh, good old color in my games. I got brushwood. Huh. Wonder what in the world that could be used for. Starting a fire or something? Hmm. What happened to all the people in this town? Did they just vanish? Did they get killed by invading raiders? No, this isn't an RPG, so I guess we don't really have to start the game with our town being destroyed by invading raiders and stuff. Lever's broken and needs to be replaced. Could I not use the brushwood for that? Suppose not. Anything hiding back here? Nope, just the corner. Just thought I would check. You never know. I do like little puzzlers like this, where you just kind of explore in an environment. That's why I love Superland so much. Even though I was pretty awful at Superland. Just exploring a nice environment like this and kind of just finding my way around the puzzles feels good. Um, does this have something to do with those cubes that I saw before? I think I saw some things to do with that before. Well, there's obviously a door to another area that we open up. Hmm. I don't think I have enough information to solve that right now. Hello. Hinges of the hatch rusted long ago and you can't open it. Start the fire. It requires firewood. Uh, I accidentally went to leave. Oh wait, I need six firewood. Okay, so I don't have that much. I, I think I just have one brushwood, so... Oh, this is neat. Yeah, there's like... Yeah, there's like little things going on where we need a certain item to get each thing, and everything just kind of comes together. I love that in games. A ruby and a health potion. Huh. Now, why would I need a health potion? Usually when they give you a health potion, it means there's an enemy right outside now. It's gonna spawn and try to murder me. Note with strange symbols. So... I guess that's how we activate that door down there? Because those are the symbols that we needed. For sure. Nothing hiding up on the shelves. A sword? Ooh, do we get combat in this? Oh, we do! Ooh, that's fun. 
Huh, this is super neat so far. Another thing it reminds me of besides just Superland is, um... Dark Messiah? Because in that game, it's like... I would need the Fort Terrace key. In that game, it's like... It's like... You use puzzle... Uh, you have, like, magic and stuff, and you have a weapon, but... Most of it is, like, solving puzzles and stuff, and finding out ways to the environment, while also having combat like this. So, I'm totally down for more games than like this. Uh, how do I actually get to my inventory so I can look at that note again? Hmm. There it is. Okay, it's D-pad down. Got it. So, arrow, backwards R, B, an Igthus, which is like the like Christian symbol for a fish. That's what I think of when I see something like that. And I, I don't know what that last symbol is, the weird symbol. So can we, maybe if I just activate them all, it'll fizzle out and then I can restart. There we go. So it was U, backwards R, then it was, I didn't see mountains, did I? Yeah, no, mountains. And then the Igthus, and then this. Awesome. See, that's so fun. I love that. Storage key. Storage, huh? Is the storage outside? Can I grab a battle axe? <clears throat> or maybe the shield with an owl on it? I love owls. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the uh, full release of this, because this is totally up my alley as well. You just kind of walk around and get the pieces you need to solve puzzles. Huh, so that must be where the storage is. It said I needed a fort something key, so I was a bit confused. Oh yeah, can I chop this now? I sure can. I didn't even think about that when I grabbed the sword. And I can break crates now, cool. So yeah, this is like a little metroidvania puzzle game almost where you like get the things you need to proceed and then you gain new powers yeah so that so that is not the storage but it was good for me to come back in here anyway because i could check out the room with uh boards in front of it all righty can i get in here no looks like a stable but there's no actual creatures hiding inside there I guess this is the only house you haven't been in yet. Anything in these boxes? No. Boring. Keep things in your crates. Why would you just have a crate with nothing in it? Give me some apples or something. So we definitely needed the sword before coming in here. There's another ruby and a health potion. I wonder what the rubies are for. Maybe they're like, <clears throat> for the sake of the demo, maybe they're like a completion style collectible. Or maybe in the full game they'll be used for uh, some kind of currency. Got a magic wand. No, that's a lever. <laughs> it's uh, way more mundane than I thought. I was like, ooh, did I finally get my wand? I forgot the name of the, uh, I've only watched the Harry Potter series once, but I forgot the name of the uh, place where you go to get your wand. But I was gonna, I was gonna reference that. Does my wand have a phoenix feather? I think that's, I think that's the one, the powerful one. Lever is broken and needs to be replaced. Replace lever. My memory when it comes to movies is uh, awful. Oh, cool. We get to fight a enemy now, I guess. Ooh, we even have a dash. Boom. Didn't expect that, did ya? you? Can't handle my dashes. Wow, we're actually super mobile. Hmm. That feels pretty good. And unlike Superland. It doesn't seem like the combat is obnoxiously annoying. Because they specifically, like, one of my main problems with Superland was they had combat in areas that you were trying to solve puzzles, and the enemies constantly respawned. But that doesn't look like it's going to be the case in this game. Ah, uh, wow, this game is so pretty. Kind of reminds me of Project Grove in that way. Just the nice use of color in a fantastical environment. I think this game was made in Unity, and I can kind of I can kind of see that. Unity games are rapidly becoming one of my favorites, just because I think the built-in Unity assets are just something that I like and really, really enjoy. Not to say that this game is just using Unity assets, but... 
I don't know. I just like the aesthetic of Unity. Place of power? Ooh, maximum health increase. I called it a place of power from The Witcher, because that's what it reminded me of. It's... It also reminds me of the, uh... The Howling Stones, I think they're called, in Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Or the Whistling Stones. I think I saw in the description for this game that the various mushrooms can be used to make different potions. Which is also a neat mechanic that I really like. I can't handle my dashes. Get out of here, slime. Now that I think about it, why have they never had a... Well, never mind. I'm stupid. I was I was like, why have they never had a slime Pokemon? But then I was like, well, Grimer's basically slime. So they have actually had a slime Pokemon. I saw you hidden down here. Can't hide from me. My eyes never miss a secret. Except probably the millions of secrets that I've missed already. Hop, hop. Alright, so, yeah, there was this. Old tree, it seems like it'll be difficult to cut down. Ah, yes, we need the chainsaw. Hmm, wonder where we'll find that. It looks like we need the ability to float or something. Oh, wait, no, that's what we cut the tree down for. Never mind. Okay, well... Hmm. So I guess we can't go that way, so let's head over here. I saw that. Creepy. It seems like it comes on from a distance, so... Seems for a moment there was someone inside the hollow. Inspect the tree. Please don't murder me? You don't find anyone. <laughs> That's creepy. I don't like that. Is there anything hiding over here, or is it just the spook? One thing to notice is you do back up slower than you move forward. It's always neat when games do that, because it makes a lot of sense. You would not have backward momentum as fast as your forward momentum, because you can't keep your balance as well. A uh, cauldron? Interesting. I think I also have enough firewood now. Yeah, I have seven. Um, hi. Oh, do not hit me. Oh, I spun around too quickly. So I finally took damage. So what's the deal with this area? There's even a powerful enemy guard in it, guarding it that I haven't really seen much of before this. It definitely looks like an area filled with magic. Because it's all purple and there's these things growing everywhere. What is that? An anti-rust potion. To cook this potion you will need a wood mushroom, a blue flower, and a witch mushroom. Huh. This is really cool. I like, like, having to collect ingredients, basically, and solve puzzles, and the occasional fighting monsters, but not so much where it's overbearing or annoying. This is a really fun little gameplay loop so far. I'm super impressed, actually. Huh. Oh, the creepy tree. So now I guess we head back to... the, um, house? Maybe we cook something in the pot? I don't know. Because the fireplace is really the only loose end we had here. Well, there was also that, but I can't get to that yet. We need some sort of key that I don't have, which I may have just missed. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Put the boiler. And start the fire. And craft anti rust potion. Okay, so I did that, but what exactly does it do for me? Perfectly removes rust from metal surfaces. Oh, you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, see, this is what I like about these games. Everything just starts to kind of come together, and it's it's really nice feeling. And now we have access to a new area. Man, I would love to play a full game like this. This is right up my alley. Fantastic. Uh, hey. I was trying to loot your treasure chest, you jerk. Don't you want me to steal your stuff? Huh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm super into this so far. I'm constantly amazed by how many great games are on itch. Just hiding from me. 
and I should really check it more often because Steam does not do a good job of recommending like less popular games. The favorite habitat of leprechauns and trunks is trunks of old trees. These creatures are usually harmless to humans. Moreover, they are ready to sell items they found for rubies. Huh. How do I actually speak to one, though? Or does that just now give me the option to maybe leave rubies in front of the tree and get an item? Hmm. Ah, uh, this is so... I'm, I'm not going to stop gushing about this. This is now two fantastic games I've played in a row that I found on itch for a one-off that are absolutely like I think this one actually has a steam page so this is totally going on my wish list because wow this is fun what was the deal with you oh yeah you were just a health upgrade that's right you're not a puzzle solution or anything okay so now we go to the leprechaun we trade the leprechaun some rubies they give us a chainsaw or no they, key, they give us the key to that chest up there which contains a chainsaw. Yeah, that's right. It seemed to you for a moment there was someone inside the hollow. Offer a ruby. Leprechaun is ready to sell you goods. Buy axe. There we go. Cool. Got myself an axe. So, yeah, that's not actually like a weapon or anything that I need to equip. I imagine I just go over here to the tree and chop chop. So it looks like I had just enough rubies there. Oh no, I have one left. It said I offered him a ruby, so I thought I maybe gave him one ruby and then paid him six. Seems to be difficult to cut down. Cut the tree down. Timber. Seems like the weird purple stuff is infecting this area. There are going to be some enemies hiding out over here. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, never mind. I spoke too soon. You can't handle the circle strafing, sir. It's too powerful. Give me that health potion. Haven't had to use one of those yet. Although maybe I should since I'm kind of low on health. I feel like I would want to take some more damage first, though. Alright. Doesn't seem to be anything else out there. Oh, an owl. Owls are my favorite animal. I love them. Okay, so now we're in like a fully fledged dungeon, possibly. Ah, uh, this gives me Legend of Grimrock vibes, which is another fantastic game. Man, I should have played that again. We just light these? Okay. I made a sound. Nothing spawned behind me, right? There's a skull. Pretty intimidating. Alright, what else do we got in here? Ooh. Okay, we're getting to some real puzzles now. Some that might actually give me a little bit of trouble. Okay, that's a health potion. Might as well go ahead and see how much they heal. Pro I imagine it probably just heals all your health, because... So maybe I did waste that, but I have four of them, so... Not the biggest deal. Ugh, this makes me want to play Grimrock so badly. Something about cramped passageways like this really gets me going. Alright... There's another slime. I imagine we just have to light all the torches, which doesn't seem like it'd be too difficult. So we get two hits on them and then we gotta back up. That one seems like it attacks faster than the other one, or maybe I'm just worse this time. Are these, uh, is this a morgue or like catacombs, I guess? Because it looks like these are the things you would pull out with a body in it. Forget exactly what those are called. Look at this skeleton-y skeleton boy. Okay, so we lit the torch up there. There was one down there that we did light. Just making sure I'm not missing anything here. What about down here? Yeah, that's where the ruby and the potion was that brought us up here. Okay, so we got everything. And there's probably one last torch back here, if I had to take a guess. Yeah. That looks like a trap. I don't think it is, but it looks like one. Okay, is it something open? Yes. Yeah, this is really fun. I didn't expect the demo to be this long, either. It's a pretty nice little slice of the game. Nothing hiding there? No. 
I just I, I almost want to go click on go look at the walls and look for a button like I'm playing Grimrock and see if it opens a secret wall. <clears throat> um, game saved. Okay, let's not go in there yet. Where do you lead? Oh hi. Hey slime chan. No, you don't. Ow. Stop that. The slimes are much better at hurting me than those ranged characters, which is honestly something I never thought I would say. Two more rubies. Is that it? Seems like that's all that's in here. Just some rubies. Maybe there's a, another item I have to buy from the leprechaun. I wonder if there's more rubies in the game than you actually need, because... What if you uh, missed some, for example? Would you have to go back and re-explore old areas? Okay, so moon, moon, sun, sun. So... Are there any hints about what I'm supposed to be doing here? I don't really see anything yet. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just overthinking it and I need to light... ...all of the... ...torches? Is it really that simple? Doesn't seem like it is. Hmm. I haven't found a... There wasn't a note in here, was there? Detailing what what I'm supposed to do or anything? That looked like a place you'd keep a note. That does too. Yeah, no, this was just a room for the rubies. And Slime Chan, of course. Okay, so... Maybe no hints for this? Maybe I have to turn all of the... Oh, wait. Okay, so the ones with suns need to be on and the ones with moons need to be off? Okay, yeah, that was... That was way simpler than I was making it. Oh, well. At least I wasn't stuck on it too terribly long. Okay. Because I saw something else. Yeah, treasure chest. Not getting past me. Lots of grim rock in my past. All right, what do we got? Another uh, puzzle here. Okay, that one says. So if let's see, there's. Yeah, they light up, huh? Let's investigate this room first. Hi. Okay, we're we're gonna potion after that one. You actually hit me. I talked uh, I talked some shit to you, so it seems like you're finally getting your revenge now. Where does this go, huh? Just another little room. Is this proceeding deeper in the dungeon, or does this have an end? There's a health potion right there. Hmm. What are you? The drawing resembles the plans of a room. Oh, okay, so... So the two on the one end and then the one in the middle on the other end. Got it? Now let's see if my fragile, fragile mind can keep that in its head until we get back over here. Alright, I think we've done it. So these two need to be lit. And only the middle one over here should be lit. Now my only question is, I saw a health potion just kind of hanging out over here. Aha! It was like, um, Legend of Grimrock, there was a little button hidden on the wall. Ah, uh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> I'm glad I picked up on that. Alright. Now where to? Is this the crystal? Oh uh, no, don't tell me the demo's over. I had such a fun time. It was a great demo, though. Really showcases what the game is trying to get across. Activate. Navigation crystal activated. Congratulations, you've completed the demo. Main menu. All right, that was that was really fun. That was really, really fun. I really enjoyed that. This is totally something I'm going to have to keep an eye on. Uh... Yeah, that's, so and if you look in the bottom corner, it looks like it does have a Steam page, so I'm going to have to find that. Mask of Mists. Yeah, this is totally something I'm going to have my eye on, so. Props to the developers, you made a really fun game that had a lot of things that I really appreciated, like some of the Grimrock mechanics with the hidden buttons, and just 
some neat little puzzles to kind of taste my, uh, or not train, not taste my mind, train my mind. It's always really nice. I like games like this, kind of first person puzzlers with a little bit of combat, so I hope everyone's enjoyed this video, and I'll leave the link to the game in the description if you want to try it out yourself. See you next time.